What's up, folks? It's your man, Jay, man. It's time to hit, kick off another video on the Durango, man. So I haven't really um, I haven't really done any mods yet. It's only been like a week or so that I had the car. And i um, really hoping that I can get some stuff done. It's time for a car wash, though, man. So I wanted to go ahead and get me a nice little wash. You know what I'm saying? And um, give you guys an update. Car's running good. Past 500 miles. Uh, so... Uh, this will be just a quick vlog, man. I really enjoy the car. I've had a Durango before. I had a, a 2013 RT Durango. And um, I really love that car. We pretty much used it for traveling, though. We used it for a uh, lots of traveling. This guy left the freaking hose, like, right out. Thanks, guy. Uh, but we used that, 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 that vehicle for... Um, lots of just road trips and opposed to this one you know I, I really really am considering doing some mods I'm just not sure yet so um, for right now though I think I'm pretty much gonna just concentrate on um, you know the way the car aesthetic like wheels uh, I don't even know that I want to lower the car because uh, and I keep saying car but it's SUV but point is I don't even know that I want to lower because I actually like the stance. And if I go to a 22 inch wheel, uh, it's going to, it's going to make it look even better. So lowering it is cool and everything, but uh, bagging it would actually be ideal for me because, um, I will still want to be able to have a good ride height at comfort, you know what I'm saying? And also be able to slam it down for a show or something like that. So I'm still undecided on that. It's early stages, man. It's no rush. Uh, but slow progress, you know what I'm saying, is, is it slow as a turtle. I'm not trying to go too fast. So I'm just going to uh, give a quick wash, and then we'll set this thing up, man. I'll show you what it's looking like. dry it off and um, give you that good exterior uh, shot that you guys love when it all shined up. Well, I think I like it. Alright, so see you in a minute. This weather down here, man, is crazy because it's scorching hot one day. Like right now, it's like 70 degrees almost. Yesterday, it was like 29 degrees with freezing rain. It's crazy. So the Durango is hot, man. I'm, I'm really feeling it. Again, I had a 2013 RT. It was blacked out, though. Um, but I, some things I really like about this car is um, the interior. So if you remember my Chrysler 300, uh, it had white leather interior. And that's the only time I like leather is when it's something different from the shade of the car. It, like it really pops in the interior. So this interior is fire right here. I really like this interior. It's it's red, it's nice. Another thing with the 19s, they took away that RT logo and put this the, the two bars there for Dodge, uh, which is fine with me. It looks pretty clean. Um, but some things I don't like about the car, it's just four things that I don't like about the car. It's going to sound crazy, but I can change them and I'm going to change them. I can't wait to get my new wheels. Um, I'm going to go with a niche setup, um, the, the same color as the car. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it with some 22s, uh, 285, 35, 22 all the way around. Because again, I like the stance of the, of the ride, so I probably won't lower it. 
uh, at least not i'm not thinking about doing that at this point uh, but these wheels man i don't like black shiny wheels and that's pretty much what these are black gloss wheels uh, i do not like them at all and they're very difficult to keep clean so i just kind of do a rush job on them because i know i'm not really going to keep them all here so uh, for now that's probably the only thing that i don't like about this truck one other thing i wish that i could have had with the 19s uh, it's like the 18s, like the fog lights, like I was saying uh, earlier. I really like the fog lights, that single light. Uh, this The two LEDs is cool and everything. They changed it like that for the 19s. Um, but I like to project the fog lights, like on my on my 392 and like on my other Super Track Pack charger. Um, I like those those lights. Uh, but these are cool and everything, but I, I just prefer those. And that, maybe that's something that I could pop out and swap out later on down the line if, it, if, it, if it's available. Uh, but I'm in no rush to do that. With this vehicle, I'm not really in a rush to do many things to it because uh, I'm going to be working on a car. The Durango, man, I'm really, really, I'm really, really enjoying it, man. It's, this is a beautiful, comfortable ride. Again, a lot of people are slamming them to the ground. It does give it a better look, a more aggressive look. But I, I think of just putting some 22s on it, man. This specific wheel, uh, Nietzsche wheel, Nietzsche or however it's pronounced, N-I-C-H-E. It's a gray wheel, uh, the color of the of the truck. So... I think it would match up really sweet, man. If you go to their website, you will see exactly the wheels I'm talking about. Fire, man. Fire. Beautiful, beautiful set of wheels. That, and the truck on the website is the color of my truck. So it's perfect. Some people put the 345 badge and Hemi badge on the side. I feel like, you know, I don't need to let everybody know that it's a Hemi. When I started up, people could tell that it's a Hemi. Uh, that's a personal preference, though. Uh, but, you know, I just kind of feel like uh, some things I just prefer not to do. Uh, if it's not a 392, I don't really want to put a 345 badge on the side. It's kind of like mimicking or almost, to me, that's um, kind of saying, I wish I had got the 392. I could have gotten the 392. They just didn't have none ready to sell, and I wasn't willing to wait. So I said, screw it. I'll just get this. I'm save a, save about 10 grand and call it a day. Uh, but this isn't going to be my main project, though. That's the thing. But um, nonetheless, man, I'm really enjoying this thing. And I don't think I'm going to be putting, I don't know at the moment that I'll be putting any extra badges and things like that on it. But I will tell you that um, this thing is nice. I enjoy it. Uh, and I think I'm going to definitely use this for a lot of road trips and things like that. But hoping this year I could at least have, hopefully, you know, it's, it's at the beginning, we're in uh, the beginning of 2019. So uh, we're in February. So I'm hoping by the summertime, I could at least have some 22s you know, possibly had the front windows tinted by then, you know, just simple things like that for this truck, because I really want to put most of my money into the uh, 300 that I'm, I'm trying to get. So it's your man, Jay, man. I hope you guys enjoyed and I see you guys in the next one. More updates to come on the, on the, the beast, the Durango beast. This thing is a, this thing's a, just a monster. I love it, man. Shout out in the comments. I'm out.